Hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords. This time I'm going to turn my microphone on. Oh, I hate when that happens. The deja vu is going to be real this time. <laughs> anyway, we ended last episode with 20 days left before raid. So there is a lot to cram into the first, uh, well, the first 20 days of this episode. For starters, I made a mistake last time of thinking that I could quickly throw in a garrison building here at the manor of Samwise to be able to put more troops out here. But I've only got the money to make, you know, the 12 that I would have gotten from this building alone anyway, so that was kind of a, I don't know, a unnecessary gamble. I do have eight families opened up here and ready to work. We've got to make five trips with logs, we've got to make 20 trips with planks, and 15 trips with stone. So there's going to be a lot of travel time. Here. Luckily, the stones sit over here at the storehouse. Well, some of it is five. Where's the rest of the stone? It must be over there in the stone mine, which looks like that one. Well, there's one. Okay, we have the other storehouse over there. That's a logging camp. There you are. Can I get you from here? Storehouse. There's 18 more. Okay. And there was a lot of planks, too. Yeah, right there. So a lot of it's coming cross country. It really is. So you guys do your thing there. Then we'll get a garrison set up or a uh, um, a retinue set up to be able to assist with that raid coming in. I don't think there's anything else to worry about here. We're in February, and we do have a lot to worry about over here. We have a bit of a food crisis going on in Gandalf, and it's significant. We have a lot of population over here now, and they're going hungry. And is there anything we can do to to save this? We have been hauling food over through our pack stations over here. And bringing berries in in exchange for the weaponry they're going to need to set up their own militia. And we were working on these when we stopped last time. Um, I got to looking at this between episodes. There's pull arms here. I'm going to pause because i got a lot to cram into the next, uh, next few minutes. Um... We're sending pole arms over because the other ones are all sending spears and uh, and shields, though we still only have 12 of them that have successfully gotten over there, 12 and 13. So what's taking them so long, I, I just don't know. The pack system seems to have some, some deficiencies at this point here of 7.955. I'm sure it's going to be improved in time. But I noticed something in Halfwit Brit's episode uh, recently. Um, I think it was his. He was just setting up his first pack stations. That's logistics. And he read something I hadn't... Well, I had noticed it but forgotten about it. Employ mules to transport up to 20 goods per trip. So they can haul a lot more, which surprises me because we've had mules for several episodes and they still have... How many berries over here? Uh, foods, click away, foods, 40 berries. We have so few over here. So how have they not been bringing 20 berries every trip and loading us back up? I don't know. So what constitutes a full pack mule run? I'm not sure. But one thing that I suspect is that you have to have enough leaving to warrant bringing it back. Pole arms, I noticed, we've only got two. So two over there brings back times four, eight meats, and then the whole transaction ends. So there's, cause there's no more pole arms. We're, we're not making them fast enough so i'm going to switch you back out for more spears not that you know we already have two bringing spears over but we can get them over just that much quicker and meat versus berries over here 16 meat and 40 berries all five four of our pack stations one two three four are bringing berries in exchange for something so that's five, four to one right now. Let's go ahead and make it five to one. And get you employed, get barter to Samwise. Sending out, we'll do shields. There's three running spears and three running shields right there. Bringing back either berries or meat. Bringing back food in, in an emergency mode as much as possible. The other thing that I have thought about that could help us out here, I have been wanting so badly to make this this farming system work. It's it's fun to you know to take on the challenge. We don't have quite the the uh, fertility over here as we do over there, but we also don't have to trust the pack station system to get the foods from there to here. 
if we make it on our own. So it makes sense to, you know, as many emmer fields as the map will allow us, and that's not many, to just bring in some grain to make bread and, and have a little supplement to our to our food. But in this time we've only got though I, I see I set up one over here even though it's not green just to get something more coming in that's close to the farm. So one, two, three coming in this next time, but that doesn't happen till September. This is just a September boost. A couple months later it's all gone. Whereas the animals are all year round. We've got a rich deposit over here. There is this policy that I have been ignoring because it seems like a wash. You know, we have, wild animals on a rich deposit breed twice as fast at the cost of half of your crops. So, you know, our crops are already half because they're not the greatest fertility. Why would I want to half them even more? But they do only happen once a year whereas this is continual so i think in our case you know long term we could eventually get more than we would ever have gotten out of the you know bread out of the the crops and short term it might just be that boost that saves us so let's go with policies let's go ahead and bite the bullet and do that which means not that we're going to get twice as many animals. They're just going to be breeding twice as fast. So they should maintain themselves better at twice the hunters as we've got going on. So let's just give that a try. This one already says take it down to 15. Let's take it down to 10. And let's throw in another... Oops, this one. Um, you gathering? Yeah, another hunter's camp. Um, what looks good? The entrance is kind of over on the side of the A-frame. So the entrance is kind of over here. Let's do that. Okay. And my mic is on? My mic is on, yeah. I've done this already once. So here in a couple of minutes I'll be, uh, I'll be out of deja vu mode. But you're going to come into here, swing around, and grab like that. And... Something I didn't do before, but just like the logging roads that from the logging camp out to where the trees are, let's just give these guys an easier way in to get back out dragging that carcass. Something like that. All right, so you guys can get in and get back out again. So let's get this built at highest priority. And am I running? Yeah, now I am. So I feel like now I'm... I'm caught up a little bit. The next thing I want to talk about is charcoal. But um, we could use more families. What could we empty out? We've got... Actually, nobody in the bloomery. That's probably why we have no more pole arms. Okay, I got to I gotta do that. But there's nobody in the clay furnace. Nobody in the malt house. Nobody in the smithy. There is nobody in the clay. There is somebody in the mining pit. Mining is over there, 155, let's take you out. And I'm going to leave forestry as it is, though... Bandit camp sighted, I'll pause you. I've lost my way here, there I am. So, or am I? I'm so lost. There we are, yeah. We put this in as kind of an emergency uh, um, you know, triage to try to save our, our fuel, and it actually did a pretty good job. So we're at nine months fuel again. So I'm going to take one of you out. Um, so that'll make up for the bloomery. We have three families. We have no food. If we go to here, we have one meat that's just been tossed into surplus. But beyond that, we have no surplus. We do have food in our food stalls. So here's what's actually in the map, 33714. But as far as extras, or it has not been picked up by a food stall, we have one meat. That was probably due to adding that, that one family to give them a hand. So, we're not doing... Well, there's not a lot of food to go out there and gather. We don't... not Certainly not three families worth, let's put it that way. So, if I were to pull back... Eh, so where's food coming from right now? It's coming from vegetable gardens. Though I have seen the... And, and eggs... But I have seen them carrying baskets and walking out like they make their own deliveries. I don't know that the granary has to go and get them. Let's just do that. Now we have five families. We can get that that uh, uh, 
hunter's camp up and running as soon as possible. The only thing else that comes to my mind is right here, livestock. Last time we set up to bring in some more mules. We set it for eight, and now we have nine. So that did happen. We still got a little bit of coins, but we're basically done. Are you guys here? Uh, resting at home, transporting, and importing livestock. You are off the map. Okay, I gotta leave you alone till I know that you're back with that last mule. Okay, which is just gonna help these guys all do a better job. But we're broke until we make some more wooden parts. Joinery? Wooden parts. Till we sell those wooden parts. Um, further, there you are. You're over here trading, um, I wanna say a place like that? No. Crafting materials, where's wooden? There you are. Exporting wooden parts, you're still at five. So we haven't lost any value yet. Uh, average, okay. And so as we make them, how do we know if we've made them? Is there anything in stock? We do have four in stock over here. Okay, so there's 20 that's going to roll in here before too long. Okay, anybody trading? People? You're all transporting. Including one way over here. Wow! Roll your mouse one too many times and it explodes. Okay, you're on your way back. So did you sell it or you bring back the money and when you get here, then we get the uh, the trigger? I don't know. Anyway, we are bandit camp. That's where we are. So I don't think there's anything else I can think of to do. I got five families to get the hunter's camp up and going quicker. And we did get this employed, and we've got the route set, and we're just a matter of waiting for these folks to go and grab some shields, shields, and start making their trip. Okay. The only other thing to do was to sacrifice, and I can't even do it just yet, I need 15, what was going to be um, artisans here and make them chickens. I hate to bake them chickens and, and then throw it away and pay it again to make them an artisan. You know, a cobbler or something. But if we absolutely have to, we have to. We could go for this policy here. Uh, citizens skip every fifth meal, but it reduces their approval, which actually isn't a bad idea right now. Can I undo these? I can. Okay. So I could do that for a little bit. We kind of want to... S oh, you only get one policy. Click, click, click. Oh, I did not know that. One of one. Ah. I wonder if later there is a increased manor level that grants more policies. That must have something to do with it. Level two manor, which I'm guessing isn't isn't a thing, right? You don't have an upgrade, no. So maybe a future update will have a second level of manor, which gives you second level policies. Could be. That makes sense. Um, so, not much more I can do. Turn the game back on. Let's hit the jump over to you guys. And we got a bandit camp. Ooh, right here. Well, that's convenient. Okay. They're going to come downhill into us. Us is... Hmm. Samwise made some tier 2 homes. Good. I think us is better right over here, to tell you the truth, from that angle. They've really got a lot of uphill to go to get to us. I like that. And it puts them in the trees close enough that maybe they'll still be hanging out in the trees and getting a negative 10. They're coming from over here, so we can angle you just like so. I think that's the winner. You are balanced. And we'll just see that work. Okay. You got a ways to go yet. New development point in Samwise. And we can go here to see that. Uh, these are Gandalf's development points. But what to do in Samwise? I think we already... Can I click over? I can't. That's too bad. Nah. We'll go ahead and let this happen. So we set... What we got left here? Get some contrast. 18 days left. White on white's pretty hard to see. Um... Last time we took charcoal, and so we need to get that set up and start making use of that. So we finally got up to nine months uh, firewood built up. Let's convert that into 18 months of charcoal, theoretically. 
I've seen others having trouble with the charcoal system, but I don't know if it's a logistics thing or if there's just a problem with the charcoal system. So we'll, we'll try it our own way and, and fine tune the logistics and see if we have different results. But you guys are rolling in and I wonder if this will break up their cohesion at all, although we're not pushing them too far into the trees because I'm worried if I get right up against the trees, there may be a area of effect and it'll just kind of bounce into us. Grab you guys and go here. We're at 116. They are at 96. And does it drop real time? Yeah, 95. And they're coming uphill right now. So they're having issues. 94, 93. Here they come. And boom. Okay. So I wish there was a way to read these kind of numbers on them. If the negative 10 is in there. Now the negative 10 is, is two different things. We have game save. We have down below effectiveness where it says cohesion plus three. But up above, or I think it deals with the trees and other things, that's all in morale. So morale of 29 bonus for power balance and only plus five for experience. So what is with that? Hmm. Is it for just this battle? Plus 25 in experience. Hmm. Okay, there's our banner over there to the right. And they're down to... That looks like zero. I think something stopped calculating there. Interesting. We're still at 24. That's the important part. But can I click on them? I can't now. So that's not a thing. Okay. Well, it's... Oh, no. I'm seeing the wrong thing. It's the red I'm looking at. Oh, okay. Never mind. Right, we are out of here. We are still at 24. Okay. Let's pause. We have 16. Get into that darkness there. 16 days left. Can we... Or do we need to? It is on the way. Okay. So let's have our guys at a run do this. You go there. Make sure the center is right in there. You guys do that at a run. And then we'll just start walking this way and get them into our own place. we got 16 days left. Um, yeah, this one. You can hit T, I think it is. And it'll pop you to... Yeah, there we go. The other town. We have three of them. The other center point. Okay. Um, hunting camp. Let's go there first. You guys put two families in right off the bat. Three families left. And so you're going into there. Anything else I need to fine tune? You are down to 10 animals. You are down to 10. One, two families in here. Two families in here. Let's bring in some animals and see how that does us. We've got a down approval. Um, passing over shows, see the hand right here when you pass over it? That I've learned tells you how to figure that out. And we have zero varieties of food right now for this house. Doesn't mean we have zero food. It just means they have zero food. So eventually, though, we may see they getting worse and worse. General storage is full. You guys are full. Okay, we'll take a family out of there. And that's another family available to do things like... Hmm. First of all, let's peek in here. How are we actually doing? People... You are getting the mule and getting the mule. Two people are getting the mule. All right. You, people, new message, pause. We will take that into our own uh, regional or, or, you know, the dude's treasury here. And let's send you guys home. At a run or not? Let's say not. We already ran you for a while. And what did that do? You guys are at negative 20 fatigue. Okay, you no longer at a run, walk into here, and let's set you at a almost a single file, and just head in over here. All right, you guys make your way in. If you get here in time, if not, we do have 36 and 36 and 12, and quite possibly a, where is the, there you are. How are we doing over here? Quite possibly another dozen. We'll see how this goes. We've got plenty of funds now. Um, fifth log is rolling in. Already 12 of the 20 planks and 8. Yeah. So we've got Enders bringing in 
planks. We've got Tommen bringing in planks and Git bringing in planks and Barbara bringing in planks and Katrina was bringing in stone. Ditz is bringing in planks. Margaret is bringing in planks. Yeah, it's it's a long slog, but they're they're pulling it off. So we're getting it built. Somebody's staying behind to do the building while they're delivering. Perfect. All the logs are in. All the logs are in. Okay, it's going to happen. I think it'll happen in time. So we could have another retinue of 12 over here as well. So I'm not worried about this attack coming in. I'm more worried about the food. And this is already three now. So pulling into here, passing over, thumbs down. What was that one? Storage is full. Okay. So these two, same storage. No, your storage is full. Your goats. I notice we do have problems with goats sometimes, leather stacking up. Um, you, we already have three people in here. Fourth one would help. Now I'm going to wait. Because the next thing I want to do is talk about charcoal. We finally got up to nine months of fuel. Let's make good use of that. We've got this woodcutter's lodge, this woodcutter's lodge. This one wasn't intended. It was all going to be focused down here. So, let's do that. Let's mothball you completely. Let's focus down here. Firewood. I mean, um, um, charcoal. You right there. Can it even fit in here? It doesn't look like it, so that's not a thing. You could be right up in here, though. You could. Two logs. We're kind of clearing this area out. Have I already dropped little trees in, though? I have. Look at all the work they put in. Yeah, I'm going to destroy those itty-bitty little trees. Over here, you... There you go. Well, we could do that. One across the... Okay, potentially two of them right here. All right, so let's come down a little lower. You're going to be right there. And we don't need to rush to get you done. You'll be done. So, firewood is made. We could let it be stored right down, down, down here in this storage, which was here because we're bringing iron ore, which, yeah, we did pull out, up to here, which is a midway point, up to here for the bloomery, which will then store iron ingots over in here to be used in the blacksmith over here. Yeah, it's not quite as centralizes I would like in hindsight I would have done that differently but do we want to add the firewood step storing manners complete pause let's wait so I want to go deal with that one um, all the way back down there to come all the way back over here let's put a storehouse right in here let's do that you are logistics storehouse I can put you there yeah let's get rid of snap not that it was bad in this case, but I just like to get rid of snap. You probably so right here. Yeah, get you in. You probably a little higher priority. Let's start putting the firewood in here. All of it. We could leave it over here and over there, and they'll pick the closest one to go to. This one may drop into here, and here may grab to go into the stalls a little bit better. Of course, I think they they supply their own stalls. So I'm not sure about that. But yeah, charcoal there, firewood here, store it here, and just get a tight little loop going on. And see if that's enough to to make that system work a little better. All right, so what was that? Raiders are nearby. We're nine days away. So let's head back over to the manor. All right, so you guys, um, that's the castle planner. Let's jump into our new retinue for Samwise of five and hit the paintbrush. And we've got potentially, well, almost 12 more we can put in. Let's put in the seven. So the first half. So there's a dozen. And should Samwise have a different color scheme? That kind of sounds right, but these guys are greenhorns, so they, we, we've we've hired them in from all over the place, and they've just brought what they had with them. So later on, maybe we'll go through and customize them and get them all uh, 
all as a cohesive unit there. But clothes, you guys, I don't think I, anything else I need to do. Um, could rally you just to see what you look like. You're here. I wish I can I grab these and move them. I can't. Now there is something to do with. Your one, two, and three buttons having to do with groups. I haven't checked it out to see exactly what that means. But let's grab you guys and run you out here. All right, they're running out of the backside. Why did they... Unless they were already over there. It could be. I was told that the retinue helps to build things. But I've not actually seen it on camera. I did get a little peek of it last time when I realized my microphone was off, but I didn't get to see it this time. But there's our ragtag group, and let's go ahead and you're here. We'll disband you. You guys go ahead and go back to civilian life and do what you wish. So, we've got another army yet. So, we're, we're pretty good army-wise. I don't know that we even need these guys coming in, but they're resting as they're walking in. We've got you know, till the beginning of next episode to uh, to get them back out there again. So I think we're fine. Um, we've got five unapprovals now, meaning five houses that are probably hungry. You guys, all three of you, one of you, and somebody out over here even. Food. Food. Like again, there you are. And food. All right. So food over here. Three meter coming in. And seven eggs just came in. So, it's possible we're going to make it. It is. That's a that's a burst that we would not have had. You guys are dealing with meat. He may have been part of the, the meat delivery solution there. Um, that's just curiosity. Going home, waiting, and waiting. Now, what the waiting has to do with, in regard to the pack stations, I have no idea. You're home. You are going home, and the other one's waiting, and I do not know why. So let's head back over here, because we have eight families that aren't doing anything. Because I set them all up to, to do this. So what else needs to get done? Logging, we've got 57 timbers. We're doing well. We could get a little more over here. Why do we have 57? Where are they stored? You are... That's firewood. How do we have 57? This is surplus. Am I reading this wrong? Timbers, 57. Logging camp, 14. What is the 57? I'm a little confused about that. We haven't demolished a lot of buildings. So it's not like they're sitting around waiting somewhere. How could we have 57? Okay. Let's click on it this way. Let's go build menu. 58 logs. How do we have 58 logs? I don't know. Is it counting what's out in the woods? Not picked up yet? That may be possible. You advanced. New area. Now oh, you were... I don't know where you were. You were over here. Maybe there's just a whole bunch of... Those are little trees. Interesting. A whole bunch of logs in various places waiting to be picked up. Where else were we working? Um, the snow makes it hard to see. Mostly just out here. Okay. Well, we'll let these logs be picked up. Set you guys back into somewhere. Where is that? Um, pull out of all that. This is the flax. We were wanting to eventually put barley. Construction and barley right in here. So I guess we could set you guys up to take out these trees right here. Uh, you and advanced and right there. Let's tell you to clear out that area. Good. And then we'll maybe get that set up for this next planting season. But I think we're good there. Actually, we won't because we're going to wait for September to do all that. We might just skip this one entirely. We'll see how that goes. So charcoal kiln is done. Um, we were trying to figure out what to do with the extra families over here. And where am I at? Two days left. So that's probably the last thing I'm going to accomplish. So where else to put families? Let's put another one in there. The save and granary. Another one in there. If that's beneficial. Request a market stall. Um, I think you can 
work real hard at taking over that abandoned market stall, or we could just demolish you, and you guys will figure out what goes in next. There you go, food stall. And that was a big thump, thump, thump crash. What was that noise? You are... No, just tearing that thing down. Um, church, no. Though we might need you soon. Um, trading post has a family in it. And you guys, how are you doing? Is there anybody living here? Uh, pull away tab. One family in there. You need to be set up for vegetables. So let's get you going. That was supposed to be vegetables. So was this. So let's get you set up for vegetables. Okay. And food's going to be amazingly abundant over here. We need to rethink some of the core basics of pause of uh, um, Gandalf food wise so while in pause what else can we do with these extra families now that I can think I've been racing trying to get to this point and it feels like I'm not actually accomplishing anything okay so leather to tan to to hides all right we're now far more leather than hides so you are the tannery one is enough we don't have enough coming in that way, so we need more goats. Forager's hut, let's put one in there and let's get you going for herbs. We're going to hit April soon enough. We'll have just one preemptively in place. You are a small stable. You are a logging camp. We could... This small stable actually has someone. It does. Hans. Uh, other stables. Saw pit, saw pit. Um, planks are eight. We could get the saw pit going again. And the other stable is over here? No. No, we don't have another stable. We have a trading po hitching post and a... Where's the windmill? A hitching post. You're over here. That one may move. Okay. Um, I'm kind of thinking I'd like... Well, you're not too far away, but... I'm trying to figure out what to put in this little area here beside the road and the, the farm, the uh, field. And I'm kind of thinking... I wish I could move you over a little bit, but a stable, a granary, upgraded, and maybe the oven, the communal oven, with flour coming right out of here into there, granary will pull in all of the, the wheat and the grain and the flour and just cycle it back and forth to this little core here, and it would then immediately grab the, uh, the bread too. I think that would work well. Can I move you over just a tiny bit, or is it going to be uh, all angry at me trying to do that? Oh, it will? Well, you're red. You're red. So you won't let me... Is there any way I can finagle that? I have to move you over here to move you back over there. Well, we still have four families. Let's get that going. You're going to move over so I can get access to that corner. All right, so with that, we have raiders coming in. Um, you were at Eichenhau over, okay, that's Eichenhau. Where are the raiders? Pulling out, okay, somebody was spotted. And you notice how it dives off when I zoom in. Let's, where is that? Let's fix that real quick. Settings, um, gameplay. And something to do with zoom or mouse. Assignment, reaction, cosmetic, that's not it. Controls? Uh, camera, rotation, zoom speed. Locked cursor? No. Edge panning. Move cursor to... Uh, move to cursor when zooming. I thought that would be beneficial to zoom in on something. But it sure makes it hard to find what it's trying to point me to. So I'm going to take that back down and see if that makes it any better playing the game all right so now i can actually go to enemy was spotted and zoom in and it leads me to apparently where they were at one time there you are all right we have got 18 ruffians here and another 18 ruffians here and they have got a long way to go but they're heading for samwise actually they don't have a long way to go and they are heading for samwise okay all right, so we're going to, while paused, we're going to call up the the retinue and set you where. I want this battle to be outside of town. How quickly can you guys get to... Though I don't want you to be the first line of contact. Let's just rally you to here. 
and let's grab the 18. Yeah, let's give them time to run over and then get their cohesion up a little bit. So the 13 we're at now. Okay, 13 of you guys pull in here and rally. And let's grab the 36 and rally here. Let's grab the other 36, rally here. And the 24 is where now? You guys, to keep it in perspective, we're over here at Gandalf. They're coming in there. We need to make a beeline. Do we run? We have already got... Am I seeing that right? Does that say 38? No, this is 18. 18 fatigue. So we have been shedding the fatigue. I guess you guys come in just to kind of finish the show if you get here in time. Maybe you can get here enough to play with the uh, the second unit, second enemies. So let's conti continue walking you in. I don't think you're going to be needed. We're, we only have two groups of 18. It's kind of like two bandit camps. So I think we're okay. Let's send you into here. Uh, that didn't work. Right click. There you are. Something like that. Walk you into there. And everybody else, well, let's make this happen. You guys are coming in from there. You're pretty much coming in just like this. Let's meet you over in here. So what does that mean? Let's grab the 12 and set you up as a 12. Right there. If I had bow and arrows, I would set them up right behind them, but I don't. We have the 13. We could set you up over here. I think so. And the 36. Do I run you in or not? I want you kind of right in front of and in between. Though without the other ones already here, I can't really see that. So I'll wait. Mission completed. Raiders are near. Mission completed. What just happened? Um. Added to storehouse a whole bunch of things. Why, I don't know. What just happened? You're still coming. Okay, I'm a little confused about that one. You'll have to fill me in. And who's Granary? I assume it's the, the one that I'm in. Um, one way to test that. I think there's only one Granary over here. And you... Ooh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you... No, I was thinking, did we just get a whole bunch of pack stations fulfilling their job? What happened there? I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay paused for a little bit because I'm really curious. We're not trading firewood in any sense, nor are we doing anything with leather. So that kind of rules that out, or hides. But all these things just happened to hit the storehouse. Huh. Mission completed. I don't know what that means. Is that just some kind of a bonus the game is giving us to try to help us out for our very first raid? Huh. Anyway, they're still on their way in. And they're going nice and slow. So, you to here versus you to here. You're probably in here when that happens. So you're probably not going to make it. I think that's the case. So we're going to be depending on all these guys. So where are all of these? They're there. They're there. So the 36s, how do they compare distance-wise? They're there. They are going to be very close. So I could pull back a little bit. I could. You guys pull back to here. You guys pull back to here. You guys pull into here like that, you guys as well into here somewhere. Maybe they'll have just a little bit more chance of arriving in time. Yeah, are we running? We're not. So you guys, come on in. Lots of little dots on their way. Now, yeah, that was a mistake. Because they've all got to get back to center now. Uh-huh. Yeah, repositioning them has its problems. I wish they could just continue. They're no longer heading to the rally point. That's what's going on. And it just won't do me any good to 
you know, dismiss and re-rally because they won't re-rally. They'll all pour out of their houses again. So that would be a fatal mistake. But you guys are walking through the woods and you're probably, well, you're, you're actually quite happy, aren't you? Yeah. We could almost take them on here. It's a, it's a better place because the bodies won't be seen. Bodies, bodies, bodies. We need a corpse pit. We do. Let's set the corpse pit up, but we won't actually start building it. Well, we will. I don't think there's anything else building. So, yeah, those four families are going to have nothing else to do but build. Okay. But preemptively, we could put a family into the church. We will probably have a couple of casualties. Though, we'll see. We're going to come at them pretty hard. Um, our retinue. No intercepting, right? Right. They're taking their time. There's no point in running them in and have them, have them exhausted and then have to spend our last 200 uh, coins over there to, uh, to repair the damage. You guys are here. You are the strongest. You are. So I think you're first. So where are we at? We're over there. All right, keep it running. You can drop in front line right there. You are going to pull off, pull back, and you're going to get in there just for the experience. I don't want to leave anybody in here. You guys, pull arms and spears. Okay, I think. Pull away, pull away. There we are. I want to turn the camera. You are pull arms. I've not seen the pull arms in action. Let's put them right behind, like that. Let's grab you guys, set you off like so to march in. Maybe that's more like that. Yeah. And be careful about barriers. I don't know how well they, the, the AI deals with that. I think they would go the long way around to try to get into that backyard or something. So be aware of that. All right, so that's a pretty impressive... Uh, group right there. I'm hoping they're going to track right into there. Let's see what they're doing. We can't really tell. But we do have a whole bunch of goods and I still don't know why that showed up. Alright, so you're telling me that there's no berries, right? Yeah, so that's not a problem. We are in where? Yeah, we're in Samwise. Mercenary companies are available. Nah, don't need you. And I guess it's just a waiting game. I feel like there's got to be something else I could be doing right now. You're where? You're in these woods. So it's going to happen soon. Once they get into the woods, we can go and find them ourselves. There they are. But they're out of a line of sight to any of us. So there's no, uh, there's no spotting them until they suddenly appear out of the woods. Uh, hitching post is finished. We could do that. Okay, I'll pause. We'll, we'll, we'll delay the, the inevitable just a little bit longer. Where was that section? It's with the windmill. Pull back. Windmill, windmill, windmill. There you are. I get lost over here. So you guys, I just did that so that I can get you over here. So move you again. But this time I want you oriented this way. I can see. Let's pull out. Hitching post is... I think it's from this side. All right? Oh, I can't really tell. Is it from here? No, because when it's built, it's on this side. So it has to be from here. So hitching post is the opening to where they actually get stabled. So let's grab you and rotate you. So from there, it's this direction. All right. So swing over. You want to go as close to the side of the road as you can. Why are you still red? There you are. So it's something like that. And that is the closest it'll let me go. All right, you're going to go there. Then we're going to put a granary over here. Then we're going to put the communal oven in here and the windmill. All right, so have I got enough done that I can actually just sit back and enjoy this now? I think I do. We should see them popping out of the woods here real soon. And I'm not going to go into little dude mode this time and watch it from that point of view. I'm going to stay back and actually kind of... Uh, Pretend I'm the general and, and, and choreograph this thing. I want to explore this a little bit. I don't think our 24 is going to make it, so they're probably a non-thing. They're they're going to get here as a 
as a backup if things go horribly wrong. Units are spotted. I guess they got into a clearing somewhere. Okay. Boom. Enemy spotted again. There they are. Alright, so you guys are moving in. New family to Gandalf. And another enemy spotted. There they are. They're coming in. They are coming where? Let's really just... They seem to be tracking right into this. They do. Good. You're going to come in here. I'm going to bring you guys around. But I'm going to wait. Because they will change their mind if I move them, say, over to here. They'll suddenly divert and go after them. Enemy unit spotted. So everyone's seeing them now. So once they make contact, I can make, move the 36 in a little bit. I can move these guys around and in. And these guys around and in. And, and maybe these two are going after the, the rear. That could be. Because these 12 are going to take a bit of a beating if they're the first uh, line of defense. But let's get ready for this. Now, we are uh, Spear Militia. Fatigue is actually there. Did we? Oh, we ran them in. I It defaulted to run. That's a shame. I didn't notice that. We're still there. Yeah, pause. Let's undo that right now. So that is no longer a thing. Because these guys were not on run, I assume that they all weren't. That's too bad. And let's get you guys set. I forgot to do that. So the 12 are going to be stand your ground. The 36, you're right there. You're also going to be. Can I? I can. All of you guys are stand your ground. Perfect. And you're all not run. And let's go with that right now. So you guys all have, probably have to shift here for stand your ground, don't you? Okay, well, they, they pulled it off. And boom. Okay, let's grab the 36 and move them in. So with that, I wonder if I could just move them in a tiny bit, right on top of them. What does that do? Does that do the job I want it to? And with that, where are you guys headed? Same position, same direction. So you guys are now going to go over to here, and i got to watch out for that fence. So I guess I'll move you in something like so, just to get you there. And you guys, let's get in here, maybe up like so. Actually, not that far. Let's take you something like that. All right, anybody changing their direction? Nope, they're still going. How are you guys doing? And our numbers. So we've got 12, 18, and 36 still. All right, so everybody's getting in there. We got pole arms going through. We've got our retinue. Where's a retinue guy? Uh, they're all different colors. They should have shields. Okay, they're in there. Pole arms. Most of the pole arms are. What was that? You're happy. You guys didn't break already, did you? No, you didn't. Still 18. These guys just made it in. All right. So now that they're in, I want to try something. Let's grab you. Hold the control and draw you around okay you hold the control draw you around and let's see that mechanic all right these guys are coming in there's one not fighting another one not fighting okay where are we at 18 still and 16 we're at 12 36 and that's that's all we have there okay you guys now from that angle Reposition yourselves as something like no, like I guess that there's only so much we can do to get you in there. Let's go a little deeper. You're right there, and you guys, you're right there. Completely surround them. We're gonna we have some stragglers over here, and they're they're stopping there. Okay, and. Somebody gave up. I'm looking for the... There's the other 18. They're dropping badly. Let's have you guys rush in. Let's have all of them rush in. See how quickly these guys panic. I'm curious to see... We'll keep the 12 where they are. Stand your ground. They're, they're the first line of defense. So the 18... I'm listening to this music. That reminds me so much of Game of Thrones. Okay, you guys, you're going to rush in... All of you guys are too. 
You're going to rush in, and the 12 are going to... No, not the 12. The 13 are going to rush in. I'm curious to see what that does to the 18's morale. We can't see it, but with that, there is the rushing happening. You guys are leaving, and does that panic these guys into making mistakes? And 12, 11, and they're done. All right, with that, where are we actually at? 36, 24, 13, 36, 12. We took zero casualties. That is cool. Of course, we grossly outnumbered them, so we're, we're fine there. We could disband everybody at this point. Is that what I want? I think so. I don't think there's any need to, uh, to deal with that. So you guys, not the 24... And can I get rid of you? Control? Shift? I can't, so I gotta go away and go back in. So, you, 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 and you are all... Mm, you're disbanded. Okay. Will it let us? Disbanded will not let us. So, what is the purpose of that? 12? Maybe it won't let me mass disband them. Okay. No, you can't. Can't disband outside of your home region really so it's not just within your own you know provinces corporately you still have to get back home again okay so the 12 could and the 13 can all right so you and you head and you all head back to ah where to just to here to there at a run we'll do that these guys are done. There are bodies left all over the place. These guys have got to compt contemplate. Com yeah, contemplate. <laughs> Easier for you to say. And we have got a... Yeah, we need a corpse pit. All right, long term, what have we got? We've got... Pull out a King's Road in and a King's Road around. I like to place corpse pits where it will make the most... Uh, um, yeah, it'll send a message to future people trying to raid us, which could come from here and here, which means they may very well travel up this road. Let's corpse pit down in here. On the bend? Right out in the middle. Okay. You, corpse pit has something to do with housing. Why, I don't know, but there it is. You're in there, and I don't know where you walk up from so we'll kick you off to a side in case i have to go around it and set you there and yeah i gotta go around it so that dock thing is the side of the ramp okay so thank you and let's do that again corpse pit dock thing move you around to like that and then we'll set you in right in the middle and there's our entrance okay and we will go ahead and road from there to there. All right. Mission accomplished. Everyone is heading home. Oh, the scene of the carnage over here. I don't remember if there's anything else building, but just in case there is, let's take you up to the highest priority. We'll set up maybe three families to uh, to go and deal with that march is here so crops grow so while i'm here I, I, i'll leave it pause i don't want to uh, have to worry about things but one two three four five six you act like you did not get planted so somehow we didn't finish this one interesting okay um you are doing fine do i need to deal with the the farms right now that's what i'm weighing you are a flax field that failed okay do i put you in just to get something it would be nice to get a lot of linen you're not going to be a very strong yield because you're only going to be half a year instead of a full year but flax is construction flax Half a year has done that. Uh-huh. Let's do it. Let's plant these two. And that's all. Just plant these two. So that is pull away from everything. 
farm two families in let's set you up for flax let's set you up for fla flax right there and i don't think they're going to deal with these because it's not harvest season so they shouldn't harm any of this i don't think that's a thing so you guys are going to do that that leaves us one family to do with bodies maybe two and maybe i'll pull somebody out of somewhere else to be able to jump in and although we don't have a lot of berries here one family was able to empty that out all by themselves. So I only need one family in there in April. Okay, so that is that. Waiting for our troops to get back so we can disband them and send them on their way. Though you, you really don't need anything. You go back to a walk and you head back out to here. Uh, where is here? Here? Yeah, it is here. You guys head back out to your, your, uh, your far away posting. And let's go for this field. This is a little more extreme. I didn't notice this before. So let's go for here and whoops, and place you right there. Stand your ground and do not run. All right, you're good. The other ones we will disband as soon as they happen and get them back home again. Is, where are the troops that were over here? They've all made it back. I don't see a big mass exodus. They must have already made it back and they're back to their jobs. Good. All right, over here, we have five families with nothing to do. In Gandalf, food-wise, we have seven disapprovals. Okay. And food in the system is one veggie and six eggs. So veggies are starting to potentially get processed. Ah. So we got more meat coming in. We've got veggies coming in. Those are helpful. We did move somebody in. So what does that mean? Tab, these two. Unfortunately, none of these houses... Am I wrong? No. None of these houses can have anything in their backyard. I wish I had reversed these. I wish these are the ones filling next, and I just put chicken, 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 chicken. And then I think we'd be fine. We would slowly through the summer maybe get ahead of that curve. Hmm. Now, I don't know if... It feels a little cheaty, but I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me. Can I swap out policies in September and get back my uh, my 50% yields from the crops which is that's a weird policy it is it feels so unrealistic like you're really going to lose half of your yield because you have more animals around although I guess if you think of it that way the more deer that are in the region the more likely they're going to be out there eating your crops and if you take that you know further not just deer but wildlife in general you know they're showing deer but they're really they're hunting rabbits they're hunting whatever's around the area and some of those eat crops so maybe that is the justification for it i can kind of see that anyway there's not much more i can think of to do to bring more food in but we have five families available what are they doing um can they be more beneficial maybe well yeah Let's just do that. It gives us another food stall to distribute that food. That is a thing. Okay, then let's do two of those. They can all set up booths and they can distribute. And if that means getting the, the six out there and representing it better so that we have not, you know, this doesn't get worse than eight, then maybe we'll be okay. Um, we don't have a family in here. We're not ready to bury our own yet. Do we have a burial pit yet? Ah, uh, there. You're still being built. And nobody has made it. There we go. Yeah, Grethelene. Uh, Kungart? I didn't. Linhart and Kungunt is on her way, on their way in to shovel this thing. Though it does take a log, it does not take a log. So you just have to shovel it and you're done. Good. So that'll happen and then I'll probably just assign you to it. And here are the other ones to try to help out too. So there's, yep, there's stragglers. Okay, you are a, a future clay deposit. We do need to get somebody back into taking out uh, stones so we can clear this up. But you guys are working on that and that. And that should be plenty done by the end of planting season. Is there anything to be doing over here? You guys are... Can I do both? I can. Disband. And then let's rebrand. Rally you guys. Reband? Reband. Rally you somewhere. It doesn't like that. Okay. One at a time. You rally 
here. You rally, rally. Where are you? Oh, that's the 24. I need the 36. Okay, so back to you. I need this one to rally here. And then they all fly out of their houses again. So there's a, that's a little cheaty, but I think I, I'm, I'm willing to live with the, my conscience on that one. Disband, disband, and you're already back in town again. You can go back to work. Rather than waiting for that, that forever slow walk of them, I thought I was seeing circles like the, re the remnants of where they were, of them slowly slogging their way up this hill to finally get up here and do some work. All right, so they're back. They're probably all moving their shields again, you know, and their, their spears. Okay, so corpse food is done. Moving to here, grab a family. Just grab two families. Let's put you all to work hauling these these bodies out of here. I wish we could strip the uh, the weapons from here and sell them. That would feel a lot more realistic. Now, why are you? No, you're just green. That's why you are. Unassigned families need for construction over here for a hitching post. Is there anyone that I could pull out? We do have a lot of families in here. I like that we do. Um, how many are in the granary? Which is going to move? One. Let's back you out. We'll put one family to work there. Storehouse, we've already backed you out. And we've already said, get rid of everything. And what is actually left in here? You have 58 firewood and 13 leather. Okay. And we did need more hides. That's right. So we're looking for goats in this area. So let's... Can I spend some time here? I cannot. Let's go back to Gandalf and just see... Was there anything beneficial to do with the... Uh, with farming over here. I don't think there is, but let's just peek at things. So pull away from you. Construction. Uh, Emmer. We are kind of coming back. We could go for a partial crop. We kind of could. Just to get something. We're going to need as much as help as we can get. So where else could we realistically pull families out of here? I just put them back into the granary. So we'll let you run nice and slow and just think about things. The sheep farm has one. The livestock now doesn't need one, so you're done. We did apparently sell some wooden parts. So only one family in here, and the trading price for wooden parts is still five, so we're fine there. Do we have pull arms happening here? Uh, general, I don't know. We're making them. Do we have any fuel? Or do we have any um, pull away? What am I looking for? I'm looking for iron. Two iron slabs. So that's coming in slowly. So that's not a thing. We have a family in each one of these. We have three families in there. Are there any other families that I can pull out of anywhere? Uh, we've already emptied this. We have. We were going to put a storehouse over here. We did. And that noise was the hitching post is finished. Okay, good. Um, okay, let's do that real quick so they can have something to do while I'm still trying to figure out how to get Gandalf up and going again. Let's get, can I move you? I cannot. So let's just get another one. No eyedropper? No eyedropper. Let's find a new one. Gathering? Uh, logistics? Right there. Granary. So I want you in this area. Where do you fit? There was a spot. Just barely. Right there. So if you go there, can the oven even fit I don't know that was the dream but I don't know if it's a realistic dream closest I can get is there well that's a little further oh just we're, we're gaining one pixel at a time there all right you're going there can an oven fit you are farming there you can oh thank you thank you thank you all right, so you're going there, and you can go tight. Sure, you can go tight, just like so. We can walk around this, but there's no reason to walk. Well, yeah, that's right. There's no fencing, so they could walk through. They could. Let's just promote that. You, you can't, you can't do it anyway. All right, so you're fine. You're fine. Let's get these built. Granary first. Granary first and oven later because we don't have any any grain anyway so that gives you guys something to do let's go think long and hard although there's one more thing you can do 
um, you could upgrade this guy and give me a real stable. So, right there. Alright, so that gives them plenty to do over here. So we did get the charcoal in, but we're looking for families. Um, we could pull back on these guys. And we logs have plenty of logs. We already pulled back on them. There's six families. Let's quickly put Come in... On. Let's put in five of them. And leave one to roam about. Five can do this real quick. And we didn't have any dead to bury, so that's not a thing. Uh, we do have berries again, though. We already have one family in. You are a normal one. That's only 40 of 60. Okay, we're fine there. You are pretty much maxed out on animals. So we have four families in here, or two families in there, two in there. So let's get another hunting camp going on. You, hunting is here and there. Set you in like so. That's the entrance. Let's pull you in this way and road you in from here around like so and in like that. I like that. Yeah, though let's just assume that they may also be trying their, their hardest to get in from this direction. Yeah, there is a complicated interchange. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are going to do that. Get you built at an even higher priority than anything else. And we'll have to find families to dump into you too. Well, that gives us six families making meat. Um, ten families are not happy right now, but we have... A tiny bit more food in the system. Anybody else taking crops out? Uh, over here, you are. So that's still, and you are. That's happening. Over here, nobody is. Though something has happened. You, you re-sowed some things. Over here, someone's taking crops out of here. Okay. So it's happening. Um, we've got a 55% approval rate. Even though we have gone to 15% on taxes. Interesting. Hmm. Do I... No, I don't want to swap policies because we're going to take full advantage of six families taking animals out of here. Okay, so I think we're going to make it there without a starvation. That's my hope. We do have... Oh, that's right, we do have. Let's, out of curiosity, does it do us any good to throw an ox into here? Uh, there. Let's throw one in. Will What will happen? It may be, hopefully, that the ox grabs this one while they're doing this and they start sewing. We'll see. We'll see. Because I don't think they'll sew... Well, no, I take it back. I have seen them start sewing a field even though they're still plowing to deal. Seems like I've seen them kind of work from field to field to field, plowing it, sewing it, plowing it, sewing it. So it's possible the ox won't disrupt the sewing process but we'll see all right so over here you guys are sewing there's one family doing some building and we do have more manners we need to get in you guys are still just one per month and we just turned into march so where would we put another one i haven't taken these trees out that's where that's right i was working on this a while ago um that is the king's road so that's not mine future farming so construction, emmers everywhere, flax. This is not a great area. Barley, this is not a great area. We may get into there for barley. Over here, we're looking pretty good. So let's throw, between these two points here, let's throw some manners in. And what are these going to focus on? I think we have some good vegetable gardens already done. Let's focus on goats and chickens. So that could be just an, an average setup. Even a tight one. It could be. So H for house. Grab from there to there to only that deep? Yeah, only that deep. You're there. That's five houses. If I go any further, any interesting changes? No. Tighten you up a little bit. Sure. That gives us the ability to road on each side if we want to later. And let's do it. You guys are next. And you are the next higher priority. Very high. Whereas the granary was... Yeah, construction, food stall, great. So maybe that will help distribute what little food we had and satisfy those 10 houses. Um, Granary, I always, I'm really backwards over here. We have similar patterns, I guess, in here. So I get lost between them. But the granary I had set for high, 
Let's go to highest. We'll get you done. Though I may have already lost you. Get you done. And then we'll pull out this granary after the next storm. Though we're only talking... Well, we are talking 18 berries. After the next storm, we'll move you over. And I think we will delete you and move you over. Load families into both the granary and the storehouse. Should I upgrade this first before we fill it? What does the upgrade cost? It's just some logs, right? No, you are stone. I've got to get a family into the stoneworks again. Okay, so that's a little bit later. Over here in... Yeah, Gandalf. I get mixed up. I think Gandalf is at the end sometimes. So I start heading too far, then, then it just... Nothing looks right. All right, so we just put in a food stall right over here. So what are we looking at here? Let's grab the market. Pin you. And look at food variety. Food variety is horrible. But presence of food... Were we down to 10 and now we're back to 8? I, I kind of feel that's right. Alright, so clothing, not too bad. Just the outskirts that are having problems. And fuel should be pretty darn good. We've never had this much fuel before. And that was noises. We're still in March. No, it was just the one. Okay. Hunting camp is done. We have one family. Alright, so where do we raid families to get more meat coming in on an emergency level? So, we've already pulled from here. Yes. There are not many families left to pull from. Do we shut down the logs completely? Kind of hate to do that, but I think that is the logical place to go. So, you're going to shut down completely. We're going to get... Construction-wise, it was just the hunting camp, right? Over here, it was. So both of you guys dive into the new hunting camp. And down to 10, same policy, but we're, we're 38 out of 40. It is outpacing us big time. Almost like that's too much. That's, again, not very realistic. So, but we'll... Oh, did I ever do this? I did, five. Are you guys doing anything? You didn't get told to do anything. Wheat. And wheat. And wheat. All right. Sorry. My fault. Get in there. Can I help you out in any way? Let's do something like that that's going to hurt us logistically. But it's going to help them out to make up for lost ground that I caused. Is there anything else I can do? Is there any one more family anywhere? that I can grab from. I don't know what happens if you pull the sheep away. Are we actually gaining from the sheep? We do have sheep, sheep. We still have two of, so they haven't bred yet. Do you, you have two wool. So you are doing something. Wool in total is, I'm looking for you. Crafting material seems like the right thing. Wool, there, are, there you are, just two. There's probably not as much benefit to being there for that wool just yet. Let's get the last family in here. So you guys, you are maxed. How'd that happen? Didn't I just turn you off? I gotta go back and look at that. I just I just had a little, uh, little mental breakdown there. It's almost like I turned that off and you popped instantly into here by yourself. I... Oh, did I click that one more time? That might have been it. Minus, plus, well, minus, I'll show you. I think that was it. Over here, click. Now, okay, do it again. U minus, U plus, U plus. The spinning thing right there. U minus, you instantly pop into here. Okay, that's what happened. I must have clicked one more time accidentally, didn't realize it. So you guys are replanting. Good. So you've taken out a lot of your crops. You as well. 11. And you are still waiting for the, the totals. You have kind of intermingled a little bit. And that is 1, 2... Was there another one over here? No. So 1, 2, 3, 4 big crop farms. Good. You guys are all working in there trying to make up ground. There's another bunch of you on your way in for wave 2. And we are hunting... We finally moved a little bit. 32 of 40. So a bunch of them all went out there at the same time. And you could also use a benefit from that pathway. Um, yeah. So tree-wise, where are we at? We have a tree right 
there, there. So just inside of. So if you were to head there and like that and join up right there. All three of you guys will get easily, quickly get in and grab animals. All right. So pull away from you. You are at 30. So if that gets suddenly down to 20, then we'll know that we have overwhelmed the system. But we'll also know that we have brought in as much meat as we can, as quickly as we can, to divert this emergency. All right, so where am I at? It feels like I've been at this for, is that say a, an hour and 20 minutes? Yeah, there's a little editing to come out of this, but um, not that much. Oh boy. Okay, this was a long one, but it was a successful one. I think food-wise we're okay. And I think through the summer with the berries and getting another family in here to help out and with all the hunting, we'll probably move one hunting family. In fact, let's just do that. You guys, you're the newest ones. Let's pull you out. And where's the building? Right there. Put you in. So two berry families, five hunting families, and six pack horse families. Any way of seeing if this ever finally worked? Plowing by hand. Hand. I give up. I, I I give up. Okay. Oh, you're plowing by hand at home. Okay. But uh, yeah. Okay. So note to self: pack station families can't live at a place that has massive gardens. You lose the pack station. All right, so with that, I'm going to call this one done and pull my hair out. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.